Hi everyone, Mr. Ong here. And today we are going to look how to do long navigation. And we are at Mural by Fish and Auckland. Cheers. Enjoy the video. Okay, everyone, let's go. We're not only going to learn the long division, but if you know the long division, it is also possible to do the shortcut version called the short division. So I'm going to teach you the both ways to calculate both the long division and short division. And if you understand long division, short division will make your life a lot easier. So suppose we have the first question, 672 divided by 4. So what you do, you're going to put in this curly bracket here, 672 is going to be divided by the divisor 4. So what you need to do is you're going to find how many 4s can be made from 6. So the answer is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. So what you're going to do, you multiply 1 by 4, you're going to put 4. So far so good. Now you're going to draw a line, and you're going to minus them. So 6 minus 4 is going to give you 2. So far so good. Great. Now the next step, you are going to bring down the next number, the 7, you bring it down, so it becomes 27. So 27 is now you're going to divide 27 by 4, and if you know your 4 multiplication is going to be 6. 6 times 4 is going to be 24, so you're going to put 24 here. Okay, so now the next step again, the same thing, you're going to minus them. So you draw a line again, okay, so now we are going to minus them. 27 minus 24 is going to be 3. And the last step you're going to do, you're going to bring down the 2. And now that number becomes 32. So 32 is to 4. If you know your 4 times table again, it's going to be 8. So 8 times 4 is going to be 32. And they will minus, and there is no remainder. So the answer is going to be 168. Hope you have learned this method before. If not, I'm going to teach you a simpler method, similar to the long division. It is called the short division. So again, very simple. 4 is to 6. You can make only 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. And you have 6. So there will be a remainder of 2. So the remainder, you're going to put it up there. So now instead of 7, it becomes 27. 27 is to 4. If you know your timetable again, it's going to be 6. 6 times 4 is 24, and you have 27, you have a remainder of 3. So the 3 goes to the next number. So 32 now. 32 is to 4, it's going to be 8. So that is how you calculate. 8 times 4 is 32, and there's no remainder. So this is exactly the same, it's just that the short division is a shorter version of the long division. Got it? So we shall do a couple more examples, and you should be good. Okay, yeah. Next question. We have 175 divided by 5. So again, 1 cannot divide by 5, so you put a 0. So the next number is going to be the 17. 17 is to 5. You know the 5, uh, five time table is going to be 3. 3 times 5 is 15. You have 17, so you have a remainder of 2. So you put a 2 here. So now you have 25. 25 is to 5 is going to be 5 because 5 times 5 will give you 25 and that is how you get your answer. So 175 divided by 5, the answer is going to be 35. Got it? Good. Now we do one more example and then we're going to do a very complicated example. Now you have 1056 divided by 6. So 1 cannot divide by 6 so you put a 0. The next step, this becomes a 10. 10 is to 6, 1. 1 times 6 is 6, you remainder 4. You put a 4 there. So once you have a 4, you're going to put 45 is to 6. 45 divided by 6, the nearest whole number is going to be 7. 7 times 6 is 42. You get 45, you have a remainder of 3. And the last step, very simple, 36 is to 6 is going to be 6. 6 times 6 is 36. There's no remainder, so you're done. So the answer is 176. So 1056 divided by 6 will give you 176. Okay, what happens if you have a remainder? Then we shall work it out now. Okay, so we shall look at uh, two examples and hopefully you get it. Okay, so the first one we have 
the next example, okay, 274 divided by 5. So the same, 274 divided by 5. So again, we're going to divide 2 into 5. There's nothing. There's no way you can count 2 into 5. So now the next number becomes 27. 27 into 5 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So the remainder is 2. So now instead of 4, you have 24. 24 divided by 5 is going to be 4. Because 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. You have 24. So the maximum number you can do is 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. 20. So you have 24. You have a remainder of 4. So what you're going to do now, watch carefully. You have to put a decimal point. You put decimal point here. And you must put the same at the top. Okay. You extend it. So you put a 0 there. So again, 4 times 5 is 20. You have 24. You have a remainder of 4. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. So now your answer is straightforward. 274 divided by 5 is going to be 54.8. In primary school, you put 54 remainder 4. But this is not acceptable in high school anymore. Got it? Okay, we shall do the last example. And you should be good at it now. So 4 is to 8. You can't, so you put a 0. Next step, what do you do? You're going to make it 45. 45 is to 8 is going to be 5. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 and there will be a remainder of 5, so you put the 5 over here. 58 is to 8. If you know your 8 timetable, it's going to be 7. 7 times 8 is 56, so there's a remainder of 2. So what's the next step? Again, you put a decimal point here, here, you put a zero there, okay? So now you have a remainder of two, the two will go to the next number, two. 20 is to eight is two. Two times six, eight is 16, you still have a remainder of four. So you put another zero here, okay? So now two times eight is 16, you have 20 here, you have a remainder of four. And the last step, you're gonna do 20, 40 is to eight, if you know the answer, it's going to be 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And there's no more remainder, so you're done. So the answer, 458 divided by 8 is 57.25. So hope you practice a lot in your division. I know it's going to be difficult for some of you. If you keep on practicing, you'll be a, algebra, a, a, a division guru in no time. Enjoy the video and keep practicing. Cheers.